All right. Uh, so this is a story that we'll continue tracking very closely. Remember, the government is also looking at how the cryptocurrency regulations really pan out across the world. Let's focus on tourism now. Goa is a hotbed of furious activity as the holiday season reaches its peak with Christmas and New Year around the corner. Hotels, restaurants and tourism hotspots are looking forward to put the last two dismal years behind them. And with good reason, CNBC TV 18's Madhiha Mujabar reports that tourist arrivals at Dabulim Airport have crossed pre-COVID levels and so have hotel occupancy rates. Just spending some time with my hobby and going for the honeymoon. I like just the butterfly beach most among the beaches. Kapi se dino se abhi kahi bahar nikalna hua nahi. Isliye Goa is the best place to party and hang on. So Goa is the place. The beaches, the people, the food, all are good. We are from Jharkhand uh, and uh, we choose Goa because this is the appropriate climate in this um, for this vacation. Goa is a destination where we all like to come and I'm a frequent flyer to Goa. I come to Goa at least three to four times in a year. I think now the time has come where people have started flowing because yesterday uh, I came here for an exhibition and almost uh, there were uh, more than two lakh people visited Goa. For the people of Goa who depend on tourism for their daily bread, the reasons don't really matter. What does is that tourists are flooding back. For two years, the beaches in Goa were deserted due to the COVID pandemic. But the scenes that you're seeing around me are clearly suggesting that things have changed. After 2019, this will be the first Christmas and New Year celebration without any restrictions in Goa. Tourists from India and around the world are heading back to this popular tourist destination for their vacation and this has meant good news for the state's coffers. Christmas and New Year are still a few days away, but tourist footfalls this December have already surpassed pre-COVID levels. Dabolim Airport averaged a little over 28,600 daily passengers between the 15th and the 19th of December. That's higher than the average of 26,400 passengers per day over this period in 2019. The numbers have hotels, resorts and guest houses in a chipper mood. We're doing better than the pre-pandemic levels. Uh, the occupancy for this month will be over 80%. The rise is about 10 to 15%, both in ADR and occupancy, compared to a pre-COVID level. Uh, so if I compare the same time in 2019, I would be uh, about a 70, 75%. But I should be closing this month between an 80 and 85 percent with a higher average room rate. But there's a difference this year. Instead of the usual Russian and European tourists, most of the tourists this year are domestic. ClearTrip, for instance, says nearly 95 percent of the total bookings to Goa on its platform this year have been domestic tourists. The frequency of people going to Goa has increased. The number of accessibility of Goa with the number of airports across the country have increased. More airlines have started operating within sectors to Goa. With North Goa new airport opening up, there is going to be a further surge in traffic coming into Goa. So overall, Goa remains the top tourist destination in India and it's bounced back very, very well. And from an overall value standpoint, it is higher than pre-COVID levels now. The cheer is far from nearing its end because travel portals and agents say the real peak in arrivals comes between the 24th and the 31st December. And that would mean that this year-end business season could become the benchmark for the next few years. With cameraman Swapnil Bandekar in Goa, Madhiha Mujawar. All right, uh, let's now.